Hello and welcome. My name is Lillian, aka Coding Doctor 101. And today we are going to be talking about the bubble sorting algorithm or the bubble sort. So, what is this? This is a simple sorting algorithm that repeatedly steps through the, a list or an array and it compares adjacent elements and then swaps them if they are not in numerical order. So, let's hop over into Flow Rhythm and let's build one ourselves. So, since we're dealing with a sorting, we need something to sort, and we're going to do an array. But before we make the array, we need to make a element to control the array size. So I'm just going to do a declare, call this array size, and I'm going to leave this as an integer. And then right underneath that, I'm going to do an assign on the left array size. And then on the right, I'm just going to set it to five so our life's a little easier. Next I'm going to declare the array. I'm going to leave this as an integer to make life easier and I'm just going to call this bubble array. And I'm going to check the checkbox for array and the array size is our variable array size. All right next we are going to need a counter. So Let's go ahead and get one and we will need another counter also. So let's make ourselves a second counter. And both of these are integers. So I have counter and inside counter. The other thing we need is a placeholder. So let's create our placeholder. And let's create a input from the user. And I just called mine user input and everything so far has been an integer just to make our lives a little easier. All right. Next, we need to assign values to counter and I called my inside counter. You can call your second counter, whatever. Uh, let's assign them equal equal to zero. So counter is equal to zero and let's do this again for our inside counter. All right. The next thing we need is a way to populate our array. So to do this, what we are going to do is do a for loop and just loop through and have the user enter a number to fill up the array. So I'm just going to do a for loop. I'll do for counter start value of zero to the end value, which is array size minus one. We do this because the computer starts counting at zero. We count at one. All right. And then inside the for loop, we're going to do an output. And we're just going to tell the user to please enter a number. And then we are going to get our user input. All right. After that, we need now to assign the user input into the array to populate it. To do this, we will use an assign. And on the left is going to be our array name, which is in my case, bow array. And we need to tell what position we're looking at. So in this case, our position is wherever counter is. And the, on the expression side, we are going to set it to our user input. Now, after this, we're going to set our counter back to zero. I did it up, up above already, so I'm just going to copy and paste that. And then after that, we are going to make another for loop. So what we're going to do is do another for loop, and it's going to look very similar to what we did. So we're just going to do our counter start value of zero end value of array size minus one.
All right. So once you have that inside of that for loop, you're going to put another for loop. And this is where our second counter comes into play. So mine was inside counters. Yours could be second counter, whatever you called it. So let's use that. Start value is zero. Our end value is going to be array size minus one minus counter minus one. So basically what's going on is the first one is looping through the entire array. The inside one is doing our comparison and looping through and flipping numbers where they need to go. So so basically, if our first number is our biggest number, it's going to take that and move it all the way to, to the end of the array. So let's put the logic in place for that. So in, inside of the for loop, we're going to put an if statement. And this if statement is going to be our comparison of the first position and the second position. To do this, it's going to be public bubble array where we're, and where we're at, which is inside counter. If that is greater than the next position, which is bubble array, then inside counter plus one. If this is true, it's going to come over to our true side and we're going to move some numbers around. The first thing we're going to do is use our please solar value. And we're gonna, we are going to take the number inside of bubble array inside counter and assign it to place holder. So on the left is place holder. On the right is going to be bubble array inside counter. And I'm just going to copy the right side because we're going to be using that a lot. All right. Our next assignment, assign box, is going to be the bubble array inside counter, setting that equal to the plus one. So on the left, we have bubble array inside counter. And on the right, we have bubble array inside counter plus one. So if we have it in an array, which the first two was a five and a four, we what we what we just did was put the five in the placeholder value. And we just put the four in the mm -hmm. first position. And now to complete it, we're going to take the five that was sitting on our placeholder and put it to the second position. So to do that, assign on the left is our bubble array inside counter plus one. And on the right is our placeholder. All right. So after that, we're going to go to the end of this for loop. So all the way over here. And we are going to set our counter back to zero. And then another for loop. And this is just to, you don't have to do this part. This is just me doing a visualization to check to make sure the numbers were sorted. So inside our for loop, our variable is counter, start value is zero, and in value is array size minus one. And then in the output, we're just going to do our bubble array and our position, which is counter. And let's go ahead and give this a test. Let's zoom in for y'all. All right, please enter a number. Let's do five. Eight, 
four, two, and six. And we get two, four, five, six, eight, which is the correct order. That's all I have for you today. Um, if you would like to be able to download this, look in the description and there will be a download link for this project. Thank you everyone and make sure to like and subscribe. Have a blessed day. Thank you and goodbye.